Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. This is our first 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Outdoor. This is our most popular model, the most outdoor oriented Crosstrek they make in the most popular color, that cool gray khaki. That's the number one color that we end up ordering for customers. And it's, ma it's matte, but gloss. It's a pretty unique color, stays fairly clean looking. So outdoor Crosstrek. Front bumper is one of the big differences. And you can actually just see even verse the one over there. It's, I'll get a little closer there, but especially around the fog light covers, you've got more plastic, more cladding. So it doesn't get as marked up. There's less paint to mark up. We do also get that front view camera, great for parking lots or off-road trails. Now, the cross truck is powered by the 2.5 liter four cylinder. That is in the outdoor and the limited cross trucks. So those both get the 182 horsepower motor, which is 30% more power than the two liter. And that extra 30% makes a huge drivability di difference. The two liter is fine in my opinion. I had one for four years and I never had any issues with it. This is just way more power. Now the outdoor also gets slightly more aggressive, chunkier, beefier fender flares. You get the 17 inch matte gray alloy wheels or not matte gray, sorry, gunmetal gray. I don't know why I said matte. You get the mirror caps in that same gray. And you, and I'll show you versus the limited that I have right beside us, but you can even see right there, chunkier. The shark fin antenna is also that gray instead of body color. So that's around the fog light area of the limited. So this is the other model that has the 2.5 liter engine in it. This also just came in. The fenders aren't quite as aggressive and you can see on the back here, it doesn't extend onto the door like the outdoor one does. Shark fin antenna is also body color instead of the gray. Now the back looks pretty much the same other than gray badging. In the back of the cross truck, there's far more room than people expect. Now, the outdoor comes with the cargo tray, the Subaru cargo tray, that's from factory. It's got a little bit of a lip on it, so if you put something back here and it leaks or it spills, it should help contain it a little bit. It's got a nice privacy cover, hides everything from the top of the seats down. You get your standard halogen cargo light in addition to the LED cargo light that you get in the outdoor. Both of those will shut off once you close the door or you can turn them off manually if you don't want them on but it does help at night trying to rearrange or find gear. Now the third seat belt for the Crosstrek is out of the back here. It goes through that. I get asked about that all the time. And then you end up with a three point harness for everyone, which is just safer overall. As we move to the second row, excellent room in the back of the Crosstrek. Both headroom and legroom are more than adequate for taller people. I'm a bigger guy. I've sat in the back of Crosstrek, front seat all the way back. I'm comfortable. Now the outdoor gets the soft touch all weather upholstery. It's not leather, it's not cloth. I find it very cushiony. It, this, the material itself has a little bit more give to it than the leather or the cloth. And you get that yellow gold contrast stitching with the gray and black two-tone, which I think is a great color choice. It's easy to keep clean. The idea behind this material is that you get, get it dirty, wipe it down. With the outdoor, you get the high wall floor mats from Subaru. Even on the doors, you get that yellow stitching. It's that gray black. That theme continues throughout the cab. You've got the roof rails that you can mount crossbars on if you want to put a Thule, a basket, whatnot up there. It is a proximity key and you've got these lines right here. That's how you lock it. So long as the key's within about three, three and a half feet. I know they're kind of hard to see, but they are there. To unlock, you just walk up, put your hand in the handle. You've got more of that stitch, that contrast stitching. You've got power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. It is a manual adjustment seat. So it's based on a pump system, pump it up to raise it, pump it down to lower it. Probably couldn't see that happening because the camera was shaking, but it was. Same color contrast, except you've got yellow stitched cross track or embroidered, whatever term you wanna use on both the front driver and the front passenger. When we get in, by the driver left knee, we have trash control, we have the auto start stop, you've got blind spot detection, and then of course you have the scroll wheel for the brightness of the gauges, which won't make a difference right this second because it's bright out. So I'll show you what the blind spot detection looks like 
You've got a little black screen on the side of the mirror there and on the passenger mirror. It looks like that on the corresponding side when someone's in your blind spot or going to be in your blind spot momentarily. Steering wheel is tilt and telescopic, so you can move it up, down, out, or in away from you, so you fit a variety of driving heights. The left-hand side of the steering wheel has your Bluetooth and audio controls, make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. These arrows here will change the small center display, depending what you wanna look at. I personally like the digital speedometer. The way I sit, the steering wheel cuts off from about 80 to 120 with my view. Right-hand side has our adaptive cruise and our lane centering increase or decrease the follow distance. Both of those take into account the, or use, I shouldn't say take into account, use the color stereo eyesight cameras. That is the eyesight system that Subaru wins awards for year after year after year. It's the best safety system out there. Does automatic emergency braking, lane sway, all of that safety stuff. You've got two different drive modes. Down beside the P for park there, it has an I for intelligent to the right of it. Press S, sport mode. Doesn't turn it into a race car, but it does make it peppier for more spirited driving. It's a nice difference. This view button turns on the front view camera, which is almost 180 degrees. I know it is kind of hard to see. There's a little bit of glare there, but it's almost 180 degrees, which is very cool. It'll, if you turn it on, it'll shut off at about eight kilometers an hour because it is a little disorienting at speed. We're gonna press it off. And then of course we do also have heated steering wheel. Now it does not heat between the seams or right here, but kind of where you need to keep your hands or want to keep your hands while driving, keep them nice and toasty. This little display screen up here, it's giving us a bunch of different information. Right now, water temp, oil temp, weather, which is part of the satellite radio trial, what you're listening to, fuel efficiency, daytime settings, got lots of options. I personally like the water temp, oil temp, may have overheated a vehicle or two in my time. Below that, or actually, sorry, in addition to that, that's where our climate control display, so Low is 18 and it's set to full auto right now. It's pretty warm out in the sun and 32 is the high. So freezing the tropical depending how you like it. I'm putting it back to low because it's a little warm out. Easy to use, eight inch Subaru infotainment screen. It is all touch screen or we have the buttons below. We still offer a CD player. I know, it, not a lot of vehicles do that. It is nice to have. You've got your settings, general sound, phone and vehicle. Apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, if you want to plug your phone in, put nav on the screen. Access to the My Subaru app, which it's not enabled right now because it's not registered, but connection issues. That's because we haven't registered the vehicle in anyone's name. And then we've got media, which is Bluetooth or CD, radio. Put it in reverse, backup camera pops up. It does show you the top of the bumper there, so you have something to relate to. And I'm actually just gonna back up here and get out of the way. So I've just reversed. And then I put it in drive the front view camera automatically comes on. So I'm in drive. So the camera comes on to show you that nothing has fallen in your way as you've been reversing and you've been looking behind you. No children, no pets, no obstacles that could potentially wreck your car. It, it's a cool feature that, that automatically comes on. Down below here's our climate controls, temperature, fan strength, direction of airflow, whenever you twist it. You've got regular AC, which really changes moisture, moves moisture around so you don't fog up. You've got max AC, which is the cold stuff and it turns the fan strength to full and it recirculates. Turn that down. Heated mirrors for the back, back side view mirrors. You've got your rear window and the wiper area on the windshield where the wipers sit. So de-icer, it's great. Down below here, we have two USB ports, an aux cord and a 12 volt outlet for any charging needs. The 2.1 amp USBs will allow you to play music and charge at the same time, or let you do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, so long as you have a compatible cord. Now, automatic is the only option with the 2.5 liter. You do have a manual drive mode, which allows you to select your gear with the upshift or downshift paddle. Heated seats, high and low for both the driver and passenger, and they get pretty warm with this StarTex soft touch all weather upholstery. Now the outdoor gets dual function X mode. So regular X mode is amazing. It's like four by four low in a pickup, press it. X mode comes up, snow and dirt, press it again. Turns off traction control, deep snow and mud. Allows for excess wheel spin to chew you out of that gross situation that you may find yourself in. If you exceed 40 kilometers an hour, it just kicks off. You can't wreck anything. And if you're driving down the highway and a passenger re reaches over and touches it accidentally, or you do that when you go to reach for your coffee, it's just gonna beep at you and say, hey, sorry, I can't do that. 
nothing bad will happen. Up top here, we've got SOS and Roadside, which is part of the three-year trial of the connected services that you get with most new Subarus. Lane sway, automatic emergency braking. Again, both use the color stereo eyesight cameras. And automatic emergency braking actually saves you 10% on your insurance here in BC, which is very handy. Then you've got your map lights. Something that I don't normally show you guys, the engine bay of a Crosstrek. So it looks very, very similar to the two liter. There really isn't a difference aesthetically. It's half a liter larger. And pretty much everything the average consumer is gonna touch is in yellow dipstick, coolant, oil, oil filters up top, washer fluid, and brake fluid. So it's all really easily accessible. Subaru still uses the prop rod, has to do with safety ratings, just so you're aware. I can answer that in a different video if you're curious about that. And it is really rather quiet. It's not a loud engine by any means. They're loud when they first fire up and they idle high, but that's normal for the Subarus at least. So that's a brief overview of the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Outdoor. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Print Storage. If there's any questions you guys have about any of the 23 models or any of the other models in our lineup, not necessarily just 23s, I'm more than happy to answer them. Put those in the, in the questions and comments below. I do try to get back to all of those. And if there's anything you'd like to see in the future, please let me know and I'll try to make a video of it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk soon.